Hello and welcome all of you to IstioCon. My name is Varun. I'm from Tetrate. And today I'll um, talk to you about Istio and how it's uh, becoming a foundation for zero trust. So who am I? Um, I'm a co-founder for Tetrate, which is a company focused on um, enabling uh, organizations to adopt service mesh successfully and um, get value in terms of security, availability, and operational agility out of it. Um, prior to that, I was uh, one of the co-founders for Istio project back at Google. I was the first uh, product manager on it who conceptualized it along with Louis and some others. And prior to that was a product person on gRPC and um, uh, was responsible for donating that to CNCF. And uh, I'm very happy to see Istio step uh, announced uh, today in terms of um, their uh, move to donate to CNCF as well. So as a company, we are four years old and uh, we provide both an upstream Istio subscription, helping people adopt Istio, as well as provide um, uh, a platform, uh, a zero trust API platform on top of it uh, to enable um, zero trust for large organizations. All right, so in terms of uh, the team, uh, there's a lot of great talks from Tetrans, as we call them, uh, who are all part of the Istio community and they're talking here. Uh, they're all telling the stories of what they have done with end users and customers in the adoption of Istio. So, uh, all the way from education and workshops to what's happening in the ecosystem to best practices and how to codify them to actual production stories. And the production stories range from you know, scaling to millions of requests per second with tons of clusters and multi-cluster traffic to developing extensions with WebAssembly and making that real in this case uh, for logging with uh, Amey at Splunk, and um, also uh, a different kind of scale where it's not data part scale, but uh, having lots of teams, um, application teams working with platform team uh, to adopt uh, security aspects of service mesh at scale in a way that um, is operable for them. So hope you get a chance to listen to these and uh, learn from these. Uh, I'm also happy to say that we uh, are announcing a few tools that we're adding to the community. Um, we believe in uh, adding to the upstream community in a way that um, everybody can contribute and enhance the tools. Um, and we've done that regularly for prior efforts uh, like WebAssembly, like uh, VM support and so on. So one of the things is around security and security analyzer. So this is basically codifying what you see in Istio.io as Istio security best practices. Uh, what are the CVEs I have? What are my security misconfigurations I have? Uh, what fix I need to do codifying that? It's an early stage. So I encourage you to use and contribute. Um, the other one is around cost, which is less talked about topic in Istio community, but uh, I think it should be talked about uh, more as well. Uh, not just the, not the compute part of Istio D and Envoys, but more the ingress, egress traffic cost, which is a hidden cost that, uh, you know, eats up uh, the bill and um, how we can put some quantification to um, pre and post Istio on ingress, egress cost specifically by tuning knobs like locality routing and locality aware routing and so on. The auth service is something that's been around for years. We are actually maintaining it upstream um, and um, it's an ecosystem today, um, but many companies are using it. It's for user authentication and OIDC support. So as a company, we um, offer um, upstream uh, support and an upstream subscription. And we have done that with various companies. Many of them are speaking here at IstioCon. And um, we, we continue to add toolings 
and uh, like this back into the community to make it even stronger. Now, the uh, story for Zero Trust and um, the entire scope of Zero Trust is, is quite expansive and is not covered with just what is happening in Istio. Istio takes us quite far in terms of moving to um, cryptographic identity and identity as the core axis as opposed to a uh, network. And that's great for workload identity. But as we think about broader identity, we need to incorporate user identity and even data services identity to bring user services and data all together in a way that we can express policies like this user can access this service in this environment of this data set and um, be able to you know, enforce that in runtime, track that in runtime and so on. So the other pillar, uh, once you have the core identity is, is policy, being able to express these example of policies I just said, not just express them, but also observe what's happening in runtime when once I have put it in, um, once I've deployed them. So uh, how much is it respecting what I said in my definition or has it, um, how many requests are deviating from what I just said and which ones are those and how do I go fix them? Um, and it's not just a one-time activity. We need to do this um, with automation. We need to do this in a way that there is continuous monitoring of these. We need to do this in a way that usual compliance uh, checklists are all pre-built into it. And we can have a feedback loop to the policy layer when um, things are going wrong. So this is how I see, and we as Tetrate see, um, broadly what uh, should happen in uh, Zero Trust. And that is what Tetrate is building with its uh, management platform. So we call it Tetrate Service Bridge. It um, encompasses Istio uh, that can be onboarded from any public, private, uh, or on-prem uh, data centers, public cloud, private cloud, or on-prem data centers. And it provides a centralized governance of all these security policies where multiple teams can collaborate. This is multiple application teams, platform team, as well as security teams in a way that um, they can define who writes what parts of policies, but can have the observability of what is happening and yet enable each of the service teams to make their own local decisions and move fast. So, uh, you see this in service mesh sort of adoption. Initially, the learning curve is, um, you know, not is slow, and then the platform teams keeps more control of the policies. But gradually, as the app teams start to learn, the platform team is able is able to give controls to the application teams to write their own policies. Um, so overall, um, this sits like a management platform on top of Istio's, you can have um, uh, any kind of workload, VM workloads, Kubernetes workloads, uh, and you can have multiple different application teams onboarded onto the management plane. And um, they can use as both just an ingress or a full mesh or both and use it in a safe multi-tenant manner where applications are running on multi-tenant clusters on shared infrastructure. It also encompasses a full-on cross-cluster control plane where um, the uh, availability of applications can be improved by um, uh, having a layered control plane architecture. And um, that helps in improving the availability of applications, not just security. So uh, this is what we call uh, a holistic zero trust API platform, um, an API platform because and on the management plane, we expose applications and APIs to application developers and abstractions to them where they can just configure with those nouns and don't have to learn all of the uh, APIs of Istio. Uh, so for example, a team can come up with just their open API spec, tag the behavior they want, 
and uh, observe uh, the feedback from the infrastructure on the management plane and they don't need to learn each and every part of uh, Istio APIs. So that's what uh, Tetrade is building towards. And if you're interested, you know, feel free to contact us. You can email me or get onto our website and I'm sure you'll find uh, all the ways to reach us from there. So with that, thank you so much for listening and I hope uh, you have a great IstioCon. Thank you so much.